The Bible says, be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. You can't hang around wrong people and it not affect you. That's why as a parent, I shelter my children, and I'm proud of sheltering my children. I don't make any qualm about I don't hide, oh, well, you know. No, shelter your children. That's what you ought to do. Because let me tell you, it's a wicked world out there. And I'll just go ahead and say this. Let me tell you, the public school system is trying to indoctrinate your children and tell you all these wicked, abominable things are normal. They're not teaching my children. I am sorry. They're not going to come and tell, well, you know, we just call it education. No, you're indoctrinating my kid with perverted things. No, if you want to, why, why does the world want to teach my children so bad? Can I tell you why? Because they want to train the next generation of voters. That's what they're doing. And they're trying one at a time, child at a time, child by child, trying to get them to, you know, mom and dad's religion's okay for mom and dad, but they're a little weird. You know, they don't really know evolution. I mean, I think evolution would be bad enough for a reason not to send my kids to public school. I think telling my kid they came from a monkey would be enough to say, you know what, that's, that's, that's not education. But then add in sex education. Add in, you know, the tolerance for all these other religions that are out there and how they come in. And they'll let the Muslim come in and teach, but they're not going to let me go in and teach. Oh, no, 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 we, we don't want that kind of, it's not, well, we know we have free speech, but not that free speech. And by the way, let me just go on. You say, I'm on a rant. That's all right. I'm on a rant this morning because I hate sin. I hate what it's doing to families. I hate what it's doing to society. I hate what it's doing to churches. I hate what it's doing to good people. They're going down that slippery slope. And it's not until they're sitting at the depths of Satan looking up thinking, what happened? Hey, praise God. Maybe along the way there was a preacher that shook a few of them and got them to wake up. And they started climbing back out. And they quit allowing sin like they used to. And maybe saved some a relationship. Maybe saved some marriages. Maybe saved some teenagers from going off that cliff. That's what preaching is important for. You say, preacher, I, I feel like you're preaching at me because I've made some mistakes. No, I'm preaching for others not to make the same mistakes. Wouldn't it have been nice if you had a preacher somewhere along the way that shook and woke you up before you made some of the mistakes you did? Amen. Don't require that everybody else make those same mistakes. Hey, praise God that there's a church that will preach the truth.